Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Nicole and I am building a channel on nursing school content. If this is not your first time here, then welcome back. All y'all newbies, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because why not? It's free, honey. It's free. It doesn't cost anything to support. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll wait. Still I swear. Still waiting. But now though, for real though, this video will be on um, my nursing school uh, a mission requirement. Y'all, I'm getting tongue tied. It's hereditary. <laughs> Never mind, it's hereditary. But anyway, so um, if you see me looking down, I took some notes or whatever because I don't want to miss anything. Um, even though your school may require you have different requirements or whatever, I just want to kind of give you a, a version of what my school required. So that you can have a kind of an idea because most schools are kind of the same so um you kind of get an idea of what your school may require you to do um, i also want to talk about um why i chose nursing school okay so um my school required you to do two separate applications you had to do one to the extra college and then you had to do another one for the extra lpn program they also required you to have at least a 2.0 gpa on all previous uh coursework college work and then you had to score at least a 16 on the act um you also had to score and at least a 50 or greater on the ati t's test and um you had to be at least 18 years of age um upon the completion of the program okay so once i got accepted into the program we also had to pass um a background check um, you have to be CPR certified, you have to be vaccinated, COVID vaccinated, and you have to be up to date on all your um, shots. Okay, so I had been vaccinated for quite some time um, since COVID had hit, but um, on my shot records, I was actually missing the uh, varicella vaccination. So whenever I went to get my um, TB skin test, I had to actually get um, two of my varicella shots. So I wasn't able to do those in the same day they want you to kind of spread that out or whatever so um yeah then you also had to get the two still tb skin test yeah let me tell you something okay so i used to work at this mental um hospital or whatever and we had to take the tb skin test right so you know if if you are ever taking a tb skin test then you know like they inject your skin with this like liquid or whatever and then you have to wait three days and then come back and they'll like rub their hand across to make sure like there's no lumps or nothing like that if you don't lump up or, or whatever then you get a negative test result okay so whenever i got my um checklist for my requirements to get my um to get my final acceptance into the program i seen where it said two step uh tb skin um test now i'm sitting up here crazy y'all sitting up here thinking that it's the same test that i took when i worked at the middle hospital it's not it is not it is not so i know how i get crossed up in my words trying to explain what i need done so before i even went to the health department to get those uh to get my shots and stuff to make sure i had everything that i needed to get my shot record or whatever i printed off that checklist and i gave it showed it both to the receptionist and to the nurse and i'm like look whatever's not on my shot record that's what i need to do i need you to set me up for whatever this is all this stuff that they're asking me to get if it's not on my shot record come on let's make that appointment so i can go on and get this out because my schedule be kind it be crazy i work like six days a week and i don't get a whole lot of time off and i'm like let me try to go ahead and knock down this stuff because one thing i'm not is a procrastinator like i don't wait till the last minute to get my to get anything done that that's christmas shopping school shopping i don't wait till the last minute to get anything done organization that's me i'm super super organized like i don't i don't sit up there and wait till the last minute right so then 
I'm thinking like, okay, I got everything done that I'm supposed to have done. So then my, I'm so happy because I got it done. So I submitted to the director of nursing and she hit me back with, I don't see a TV skin test. I'm like, did you see the seven attachments on there? Like maybe, cause I'm thinking like maybe something didn't upload correctly and maybe she didn't see it or maybe something is blurred out and she didn't see it. And she's like, no, I got seven attachments. She said, but, um, and I was like telling her like I got, you know, such, such done on the 28th. 26 or the 28 and then I went back that Monday which is that first and got it read she was like oh no it should take like two weeks to get this test done two weeks it should take two weeks to get it done and it took me three days what TV skin take two weeks to get it so then I'm confused and then she she like emailed me back and she was like um that after I got the initial red, I should have got a separate appointment to get another injection within 21 days. And she was like, and today is your 21 day. So you need me? Today is your 21 day. Yeah. So I called the health department and I'm like, came in and got a TB skin test and I don't think y'all gave me the right test because my school was saying that they can't accept that and that I need another test and today's my 21 day and then she was confused and then she pulled up and seen who the nurse was and she was just like oh yeah she did tell you that she did because they told me I was good to go and they gave me that little piece of paper and that's the paper that I gave to my school and it turned out it's not the right test so then she's like if you can get here in 30 minutes they ain't supposed to close till five o'clock. It's like three o'clock. And she said, if you can get here in 30 minutes, then we can give you your injection. But you would have to get here in 30 minutes because they gotta go to the bank and do all kind of other stuff that y'all, honestly, it was just irritating. It was real irritating. And I live like 40, 45 minutes away. So there was no way that I was gonna get there within the 30 minutes that she told me that I need to get there. And she's like, if you wait till Monday, that'll be 24 days and you can't um, do it. It's going to be too late. So then I'm like, well, what's my other option? And then she was like, you could start again. But if you start again, chances are you're going to get a, a false positive. And if you get a false positive, then guess what? You ain't getting into no nursing school. You're not getting into no nursing program. So at this point, I'm really, really frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Because... I showed y'all the paper like it's one thing for me not to know what they talking about but y'all are professionals y'all are nursing how you not know what a two, uh, two step uh, TV skin test is and y'all gave me the wrong test yeah so you know what at this point I called back my director of nursing and I'm like this is what they're telling me like what can I do and she was like Oh, she was like, I was, she was frustrated just right with me. And she was like, the only thing I can think of you can get is called the, um, is it Quarniforum? Y'all, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it right. But anyway, it's a blood test that you get and it costs like $130. Whereas the TV skin test was only like $13. And now I got to pay $130 to get a blood test because they gave me the wrong test. But you know what? The positive person that I am evolving around and, and whatnot, I just dusted it off because let me tell you, it had to get done. It's got to get done. So there wasn't no need to be going back and forth about who was wrong and who did this and that, the other. The only thing I had to do was just go ahead and get it done because, baby, I worked too hard to get into this program and I'm not going to let nothing stop me, especially no little funky blood test. Like, let's get it in. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got a little bit off subject, but I just wanted to let y'all know how frustrated I was and to also let y'all know that even though y'all might hit some bumps and bruises along the way trying to get into your program or even after you get into your program dust that stuff out because honey you god ain't gonna see you around you know what i mean and he got your back so you gotta have your back just get it did whatever's required for you to do it just go ahead and get it done y'all just get it did so um the other the other only thing that we had to do besides that stuff was to um get your physical done 
um i went to my regular i don't have a regular doctor because i hardly ever have to go to the doctor but i went to my local uh doctor office in town and got my physical done and submitted that so now the only thing i i'm waiting on is for my blood work to come through or whatever and i should have it by like next week or whatever so um now i want to talk about why i chose nursing school so the reason why i chose nursing school is because actually when i was younger when i was a teenager i actually used to want to be a nurse but i wanted to be a nurse for like veterans you know, like people that were serving our, con uh, our country. I wanted to be a part of that. And um, it actually. Okay, so sorry you guys. I had a technical difficulty where my camera went off. Um, we had a quick stop. So I just stopped by Target running to get some things. But um, I think I was left off where I was talking about why I chose nursing school. Okay, so when I was a kid, I used to always want to be like, see myself like going to the army, even though my mom was kind of against it. Um, so I used to want to be like a vet nurse um, to like give back to our country um, to help those people that, you know, help us, people that keep us safe. So that was one thing I wanted to do when I was a kid. Unfortunately, life happened and um, I kind of got sidetracked. I became a mom. Um, and then I became a single parent. So, um, the jobs that I took were just jobs to basically try to make some kind of, um, decent living for me and my child. Um, thank God I had the support I had. Um, my daughter's paternal grandparents, amazing people. So definitely heaven sent to have those, um, type of grandparents in my corner to be able to help me um to be able to because you know like you can't really trust people with your kids and that's one thing you know what i'm saying like i never had to deal with that because i 100 1000 percent trusted him with my child like when i had to work or whatever um i was very comfortable living with her with them because i knew that they will see to her the same way that i would see to her um but again like i say life happened and i never got a chance to Sorry, sorry about that, y'all. But never got a chance to actually fulfill that type of thing. And um, most of the jobs I take, like I say, became those jobs that you just have to do in order to be able to survive. Um, I'm glad that I never actually, um, I'm glad that I never actually went to nursing school or attempted to go to nursing school. I did take some med classes at um, a local college once, but before I even finished the semester, I had to drop out. But um, I'm glad that life happened to me because it made me stronger. It made me more um, sufficient and it made me be more of a go-getter. So I'm glad those things happened. And I'm also glad that I did not pursue a nursing um, career at that time because I wasn't focused. I wasn't focused like I, I'm focused now. I didn't have the support, even though, like I say, my daughter's grandparents, amazing people. I'm glad to have had them. And I really truly believe that if I wanted to go to nursing school, where it is, it came to her. I really believe that they would have supported me 10 toes down. But like I say, um, I didn't have the mentality that I have now. I didn't have the maturity that I have now. And therefore, um, I don't really believe that I would have been successful um, in doing so. Now, uh, my daughter, she's going to be 18 in October. So, she'll be um, a senior next year. And I feel like now is my time. I have a very supportive husband. I have supportive family and friends. Um, but like I say, most of all, um, my kids, um, I... I technically only have that one biologically but I inherited four kids and I see them as my kids I love them like they my kids I know that they love me and I know that they are supportive of me so um it's like there's no better time than now so um I always knew I wanted to be a nurse um deep down I wanted to help people um and I guess like working at that mental facility 
it really played a part in um excuse me let me set this down it really played a part in um tapping into how much people meant to me how much caring for people meant to me um so yeah uh the main reason i decided to go to nursing school to be a nurse is that same desire the desire to help people and, and unfortunately sometimes the desire to help people leave you in a position to be taken advantage of and uh, that's something that i fight with myself a lot nowadays is that i feel like i gotta help everyone around me even if it means putting myself on the back burner i always like gotta step in to try to help everybody try to do for everybody but reality is you guys you can't help everybody like you can't be at 10 places at one time no matter how much you try so that's one of the things that i feel like i'm going to struggle with more um and i hope this truck is not too loud i'm gonna try to walk away from it while waiting on the, the loads to get hooked to it but um like i said i feel like that's something that i'm going to struggle with a whole lot in nursing school is the fact that um I try to be multiple people and it's only one me, you know, and it's going to be extremely hard to like start telling people, no, I can't do this or I can't go to this or I can't be a part of that because I got to study. And um, just listening to other bloggers that are in nursing school or whatever, um, I know that for a fact, I'm going to have to really pipe down and really put myself first and really um, in order to be able to be successful. But like I say, I am determined. Um, organization never been a problem for me. So time management in, never been a problem for me. So those things I don't really have um, to worry about. It's just the fact that I know I'm gonna have to buckle down some days and come home and really study. And it's kind of hard because uh, right now uh, it's me, my husband, my daughter, and my bonus daughter and my granddaughter. Um, so and I and I do do a lot of hands-on stuff with my um, with our granddaughter or whatever. And I know her mom needs that help, but it's just that it's going to be really hard for me some days to not want to come in and not want to play with her. Well, not to not want to play with her because I will always want to play with her. But it's going to be like days where um, I'm going to want to like stay up with her to give her mom a break because she's a young mom and I know how hard it could be you know especially if you don't have that support system like I say god bless I was able to have a good support system and I really and truly deep down want to be there for her because I love her like my own and I love her daughter as my own so it's going to be hard to adapt to those to adapt to that um but it's just one of those things that got to be done and I just want to tell everybody um that if nursing school is something that you want to do um don't be listening to these people talking about oh it's going to be so hard it's going to be hard and this that the other i mean life is hard everything that we do is going to be hard everything that you try is going to be hard i <laughs> look i'm married i've been married for almost seven years but i've been with my husband for nine years that was not easy marriage was not easy um parenting was not easy taking uh being married to somebody that had a family that was already a family that was already made was not easy um especially you know my husband has uh kids by two different mothers that's not easy um nothing nothing in life is going to be easy you guys do not listen to people that try to just encourage you just make note of those people you don't have to treat them no no type of dear friend but just know how to move away from those people because let me tell you you got people out here that uh, say that stuff to you to try to like disencourage you try to um like get in your head or whatever and make you feel like you can't do that stuff because they low-key they they don't want you to be successful so take that into consideration um as you're going as you're going through your nursing journey and that's really and truly all i got for this video um i hope to be doing a supply house soon i got two more weeks before orientation and i'm going to try to like record some of that i don't know how much i can record but i'm going to try to record some of that and um that's it